will never be defeated. The driver united will never be defeated. Comprehend all the constant shifts between both. will never be defeated. The drivers, united, will never be defeated. Sean, Sean. Car is destroyed. It's, it's a 2017 car and it is completely destroyed. And Uber is paying, uh, paying me about five or six dollars an hour and I'm still driving it around and it is probably not safe to drive. Uh, because it needs a rear wheel bearing and, and front control arms and the CVT transmission is starting to blow. So I make Uber pays me for about six to eight hours of work. They pay me about $100. I pay $40 in fuel. So I make somewhere in the, and, and then after gas and depreciation, I make somewhere in the realm of $1.50 to $2.50 per hour. And I have all of the paperwork to show it. I did all my taxes and all of my accounting uh, for 2018. La uh, last year, I worked 65 hours a week. I take one day off a month, and I made a total of $8,800 working 65 hours per week in the most expensive area in the world. So you don't think this is fair? Uh, it, it's com it's completely unfair. Uh, they're 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 taking. The reason that we're protesting is because we believe in the gig economy, but they do not. They believe in automation. That's what they believe in. They do not believe in a person-to-person -person application. They believe in a person-to-robot application, and they are taking the money from us to do that. We're paying for the robots. We're paying for the robot cars. And how long have you worked for Uber? How long have you worked for Uber? Three years. So have your condition, wages gone down during those three years? What's happened? Yes, wages have been cut consistently. We will enter our vehicles. We will be, try to start the app and it will say, no, you cannot start the app until you agree to a huge pay cut and, then, and, and also waive your right to due process. Sounds like coercion. It, it, it is absolutely under duress and absolutely coercive and, and illegal. It's almost dead. So, and did, was that part of the plan? The plan, the Uber plan for the car? Or no, no my, my Uber plan was to go with what Uber's recruiters told me that I would be making a, a, a decent wage. I had Uber recruiters show me their phone, who are, I actually found out later were TCP original Uber drivers, and they showed me their phone and how much money they were making for working 40 hours a week. And, and maybe for the first month, they were giving me that. But after the second month, they were not. I think they're committing fraud on the people and the drivers. Um, not well, seeing something that is it, not it, happening. Uh, oh, oh yes, uh, uh, of course it's fraud. And, and the thing is, is the they have a very slick way of, of operating. It's the new corporate way of operating, um, where they they make powerful people happy. And, uh, and then as far as these drivers, the people who are actually putting gas in their car, actually uh, driving their car every day, hey, why not make them do a bunch of $4 rides? Most rides in San Francisco are $4, $4. It does not cost $4 to pick you up in a gasoline car and take you where you want to go in a private car in the most expensive city in the world. So you're paying for it? Is that what you're saying? And, and it's on my bill. We're paying to drive Uber. We are not making any money. If, if you, the, the IRS deduction rate is 60 cents per mile. It costs 60 cents per mile to drive a car, whether it's commercially or privately. AAA, Edmunds.com, all around about 60 cents per mile to drive a vehicle. So, uh, but Uber, mile, even in the Bay Area, they pay 60 cents per mile. But imagine, but we have to drive to pick the person up and drive to pick the next person up. So we're not even at the federal deduction rate. And we have no tax liability. So Uber is being subsidized by the federal government. We are not paying taxes because we are losing money. We are easily losing money. There's no way you can profit doing this. We bought cars. We invested our time in, in, into the entrepreneurship. They, may, they disguise it as being independent contractors. They say we're independent contractors, but we have none of the rights of independent contractors. And, and, they, and they treat us like employees. So they, so they have to start being fair and, and, and let us be independent contractors. Because what's going to happen is we're going to take them to court 
and, and we're uh, in, in a real court of law under a jury, and we will and we will make them. We are either independent contractors or we're employees, one of the two. But this thing where we're in between and they can do whatever they want to us and pay us far, far less than minimum wage, it's not going to work. Um, and, and, and we are uh, now, we, Uber drivers have only recently come to begin to stop each other on the street and share each other's contact information. And we are, bu we are building uh, an organization uh, to protect ourselves and to stay in communication. For instance, uh, if, if I was deactivated for protesting, for example, we already have that set up. Uh, th that's, that's retaliation and, and, and we, can, we can bring suit immediately against Uber now. So, so Uber has very good, very good lawyers. Uh, and they're a very clever company. And, but they're, the idea that they have, they're not the originators of Rideshare. They're not the ones who came up with that. Like all of these tech companies around here, they copied it from other people. And, and um, so anyway, you know, two, three bucks an hour, take your brand new car and drive it into the ground and, and be happy about it and be happy with all the passengers so, so we get five stars. Uh, not exactly awesome. The, the, the passengers say, hey, you're awesome, you're awesome. Hey, they love getting around the most expensive city in the world for bus fare, for the same price as bus fare. So it, it, it makes no sense. And, and, and it may, I think it may work in Uber's advantage for the short term, but I think in the long term, they would be smart to be more fair because uh, it's not going to last forever. And, and, and also, for, to investors, um, to, to sh future shareholders, just just be aware of their of their current behavior. They're, they're, they are saying that they're losing money. How could you lose money when they, they have no cars? They own Uber does not own any vehicles that are on the road. We pay for everything: gas, tires. We go through a set of tires, a set of eight hundred dollar tires in three months, and we're making minimum wage.